Well, hello everyone, it's Rose, and I'm back with another unboxing. So now I'm going to uh, start the unboxing process for four diamond paintings that I ordered from the Nanjing Yu House store uh, on Alibaba. This is the same as the Laoji Yuan store, as far as I can tell. So I'm just going to dig into this. I ordered these on June 18th. They were shipped on June 25th, and I received them on July 8th. So that's very, very fast. Now, I had ordered the two from Laoji Yuan that uh, I just shot the unboxings for, and I'd ordered those on the 20th of June, and so they actually shipped out on the same day as these, and they went through the postal systems in exactly the same way. The packaging is exactly the same. Um, the only thing that's different is the contact name and I don't know if the contact address is different. Let me check that. Let's see. Uh, so this is from, yeah, it's from the same person, Jiang Gao Lu. Uh, yeah, so the Laoji Yuan store and the Nanjing Yu House store are the same store, just operating under different names. This one on AliExpress, the other one on Alibaba. No, this one on Alibaba, the other one on AliExpress. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, they do package very, very well. And unlike the ones from Laoji Yuan that I just opened, these came through the mail uh, with, you know, practically no crushing at all, which is great. Um, although these diamond paintings, the, the way they're made, the materials uh, and the cover, they um, it actually doesn't matter if they're damaged, like if the boxes get damaged. I haven't yet had a problem with a diamond painting being damaged from shipping. Okay, so I've got four of them here. I'm just going to take the end one off and open it. Um, yeah, they always put the... They always put the picture on the end of the box. So some of you will remember that I was working on my diamond painting for my friend Dawn, uh, the stained glass banner, and it, uh, it gave me untold hassle because the drills were popping like mad. And um, Anyway, but I did the diamond painting anyway, partly because I'm stubborn, but also because Dawn had picked it uh, as, as the one that she wanted me to do for her. Well, as it turned out, I don't think she was overly excited with the diamond painting. So I haven't given it to her yet because I still have to frame it. But um, Dawn is a sommelier, so she, I mean, that's not her job. She works for the government. But uh, she's a sommelier, and so she knows wine, and she loves wine almost above all things. And so I got her this abstract wine bottles. Now, I have seen it done by Rachel Ray, for example, uh, in regular drills. I don't know if they were square or round that Rachel did. But when I saw it on the Laoji Yuan store, I thought, I know that Dawn will enjoy this. And so I'm going to give her this one. Maybe I'll give her the other one too. She could certainly use some art up on her walls at home or at the office, whatever. So let's get into this. Now I cut the, um, or I, I pulled this off because I label my bag that I put my drills in. And it's always nice to have a picture of the diamond painting. So this one here is crystal let's see crystal wine bottles and this one the crystal wine bottles is the 159th diamond painting that I ordered so crystal wine bottles it's supposed to be 40 by 50 and uh, let's measure that right now. And then I'll show you all the other stuff. All right, this is a 
upside down, but it doesn't matter for, for the sake of measuring. So I'll, I'll do the, you know, showing off the canvas and all that stuff in a minute. Okay, so it is uh, just a titch smaller than 30 centimeters. And it is just over 39. So I'm gonna call it 30 by 39. Okay, I ordered, I ordered a 40 by 50 though. I'm going to just double check my order. Okay, so this is, okay, so I was, it's supposed to be 40 by 50, not 30 by 40. So I'm going to have to get in touch with the company uh, because all of them were supposed to be 40 by 50 and they're all smaller than that. They're all 30 by 40. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, they're 30 by 40. So I need to get in touch with them and let them know uh, because this is not what I ordered. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do everything the same as I would for a diamond painting that is as I ordered, but um, but as soon as I finish the unbo uh, like the unboxing video for this, I'm going to send them an email because they got all four wrong. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to stress about that right now. It is what it is. So this is 30 by 39, and it's pebble, and it's from Nanjing. You how? Okay, so there we go. Let me now flatten out the canvas. Let me make sure you can see it. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten out the canvas a little bit. Not that it needs it very much. It came through shipping very, very well. Um, and it is it is very pretty, very colorful. Just not as big as I wanted. But we're gonna fix that. Just a second. Yeah, this is exactly the same as what I would get from Lao Ji Yuan, although Lao Ji Yuan has never made an error about my, the size that I ordered. So, um, I just, I really need the extra detail that I would get from uh, the larger size because a 40, let's say it's 40 by 49, that would be this big across. So we're looking at quite like, it's a third bigger this way and, a, a, you know, 25% bigger this way so that is a lot of extra diamonds so uh yeah so i definitely have to get this sorted out um but let's not stress about that let me show you the kit let me tell you about what i paid for okay so uh the diamond painting itself is uh six dollars and eighty cents us Alibaba works in US dollars, and then I convert to Canadian. So it was $6.80 USD plus shipping of $8.99. So the price of the painting was $15.79 altogether. Compare that to what I paid for essentially the same size, the 40 by 50 uh, Butterfly Girl. Oh, okay, so let's... Okay, I just opened the butterfly girl and it's 40 by 50, well, 40 by 49. So let me just fold this back here so that you get a sense of how much I'm missing out on by getting such a small diamond painting. 
Um, and I know it's not really that small, but this is what I'm missing out on. Uh, I'm missing out on that much, which I think you'll agree is significant. That is significant diamondage, as I like to call the amount of diamonds on a diamond painting. So definitely have to get that sorted out. All right. Goodbye, butterfly girl. There we go. All right. So let's take a look at the kit. So we have the same kit, the exact same kit as I get from the Laoji Yuan store. Uh, the pink, yep, the pink pen, single placer, three placer on the end, the yellow squishy, which I've never gotten from any store other than Laoji Yuan. I have a big multi placer. I don't know what that is. Nine, ten. Whoa. Who cares? I'm not going to use it. And then I have some pink wax that got, sorry about that crinkle. I have some pink wax that got a little bit crushed, but who cares? Um, I have enough wax to last me until doomsday. All right. So this is nice and flat. Let's take a look at the legend. So one of the things I'm going to be interested in is whether I get more colors with a larger diamond painting. I doubt it because this one here, oh and there's the picture, isn't that beautiful? It's going to look beautiful in a 50 by or 40 by 50. Uh, it's going to look I think a little pixelated in this size but anyway. Um, this will be a nice travel diamond painting. Okay so I have uh, 23 colors which is what I had on Butterfly Girl. And again, they're using the same symbol set that I'm used to from Lao Ji Yuan. And let's take a look at the drill field. As always, the drill field on a Lao Ji Yuan or Nanjing Yuhao is exceptionally clear. The printing is great. It shows up. I don't even need a light pad for these. Um, I was using a light pad and then and then I didn't feel like moving the light pad underneath the painting to do the part that uh, was not on the light pad and I realized I don't need the light pad at all because the symbol set is so clear. So I love this. This is great. I just want it in a bigger size. Let's ignore that and let's get into the drills. So the next thing you see will be this blown up so that you can see while I'm marking off the, um, the drills and the, the bags of drills will just be on the canvas. I just want to spare you the critical. Let's do the inventory and then I will show you the drills afterwards. drills so that's good now let's take a look at them and for that I will put on the flash so here we have the 3808 what a beautiful color that is and here the 919 Absolutely stunning. 33, 26. Beautiful. So sparkly. Oh my God, the sparkle is just so, so exquisite. I love this color. I love it. I think I've gotten it in all three of the kits I've opened so far today. 414. So this is like a, a dark gray. Very nice. 553. I like purple. 610. This sort of ambery color. Tobacco. I don't know what you want to call it. 783. Lovely yellow. 304. This deep red. Here we have our 550s. Beautiful deep purple, and here 
166. Beautiful bright yellow. 995. This beautiful, beautiful blue. We have some three tens. And I always say this, uh, they are res they're just plain resin, but they have the same faceting as the crystal drills. Whoops. I suppose in a pinch you could try using them to uh, if you run out of three tens on on a regular round diamond painting, but they won't have the same faceting. So three twenty seven, another purple. 733, it's beautiful green. 946, lovely orange. 797, jeez, that's so, so beautiful. And then here we have 3325, this pale blue. 823, our navy blue. 606 are sort of flame red, reddish orange, I guess. Uh, here we have 826, another beautiful blue. The 600, this gorgeous pink. Oh my goodness. And 666, a bright red. So there we go. That's it. Uh, I like everything about it except the fact that it's smaller than it should be so um, I'll get in touch with the store and I'll ask them to send me the larger painting or refund my money um, it's a shame oh well these things happen I'm not gonna let it get me down because I suspect that they will fix it if they don't fix it I will let you know. Hi. So I wanted to record an update to the video for the diamond painting that I just unboxed from Nanjing Yuhao store on Alibaba. I got in touch with Flora, who is the contact person for the store, and let her know that I received the wrong size of diamond painting. I got the 30 by 40s instead of the 40 by 50s. Now, what she told me was that due to some sort of error with their system, uh, I actually paid for the 30 by 40 size. Um, but that she spoke with her manager, and uh, what the manager said was, the next time I make an order from them, I can order the 30 by 40 and pay the 30 by 40 price again, but they'll ship me 40 by 50. So I've selected three diamond paintings that I want done in pebble and I chose an image that I want done as a custom square and uh, I'm just waiting to hear back from her what that's going to cost but um, yeah so I guess I'm going to be ordering four diamond paintings from the Nanjing Yu House store which is not a big hardship. Uh, I probably would have ordered from them again anyway since I love the store. Um, but I did say, you know, really not my problem that your system somehow uh, quoted the wrong price. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that that's how that got resolved. And if anything comes up, I will mention it in an upcoming video. Okay, thanks everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't give it a thumbs down just because the company made a mistake because the company's never going to see that. The only person who's going to care about that rating is me. And I like to know that thumbs down are because you don't like my video, not because the product didn't turn out as you wished um, or as I wished. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's an excellent condition. Everything about it is excellent except for the size. So I'm not too stressed about that because um, it'll either be fixed or it won't. But if it's not, then I will um, get in touch with uh, Alibaba and ask for a refund through their trade assurance program. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.